everybody, Bob here, and welcome to another Making Stuff video. Today, I'm going to be building a new table to replace this old red metal table that you've seen me weld on in previous videos. This just is not a good table to weld on because it has these sides and this back. It also has a little bit of a lip on the front, which makes it just about impossible to put anything on here and clamp it down and weld on it. So, the solution is I'm going to build this table here. This is like a sort of flat table or a stronghold table. It's going to have these slats that are adjustable so you can adjust the flatness of this surface. It's also going to have some supports here where I can mount clamps and other tools. And I'm really excited about building this table. So let's get started. All right, before I get started, I just want to show you guys these cool tools that I've got from Fireball Tool. I'll put a link to these in the description of the video. So be sure and hop on over there and check them out. These are some really cool squares that I got. This one is a monster square. These are made specifically for welding. You can clamp it down to your work. Unlike a speed square that's real thin, this is thick. It can be clamped to your work. It's very strong. It's cast iron. It also comes with tabs that you can screw on the bottom to help line up your work. Very good square. And I'm going to be using that in this project. And also, I'm going to be using this. It is a mega square, also from Fireball Tool. This one's made out of aluminum. It also comes with the tabs that can be screwed onto the bottom. And these are so much better for welding. If you do a lot of welding projects, you're going to want to get a, a set of these squares because, like I said, they are so much better than this. You know, don't get me wrong, that's great for carpentry work. This is great for welding. So check out Fireball Tool. I got a link in the description. So right from the start, I ran into a problem. This five inch stainless steel wouldn't fit in the vise of the uh, bandsaw. So I had to cut it vertically. And as you can see here, it hit the top of the, uh, the bandsaw. So it left this last little quarter of an inch that the bandsaw couldn't cut. So I just had to break out the hacksaw and do it manually.
All right, so I've got my tabletop all set up. It's ready to go. And I'm actually going to use the top of the table to make the bottom part of the table. But before I got it all ready, I had to adjust all of these slats to make it all flat and level. And the way I did that is I took a level and I set the far end slats, the ones on the ends, and I set them level. And then I adjusted each one here in the middle. And the way I did that is I loosened the bottom nuts and then I took a wrench and you can adjust the height and the tilt of each slat by turning these nuts. Then when you get it set to where you want, you just tighten them all down and then that locks them into place. So I did that on the front side and then I went through and did it again on the back side and I did this where the bolts are at, where they're welded on there. And that's pretty much got me a really good flat surface to work on here. So, like I said, I'm going to now take the uh, pieces that I've cut and I'm going to make the bottom of the table here on the top. Bye. 
So this table turned out really nice. I can use my normal clamps. I don't have to cut the end off and put a three quarter round on the end so that it'll fit in a round hole. These clamps will go anywhere along this slat. They come out from either side. It goes just a little bit more than halfway. So it's great for clamping pieces down. To give you a for instance here, I'm gonna say I need to weld these two at a 90 degree angle. I can take my fireball tool monster square, put it on here, clamp it down like so. This is something you can't do with a carpentry square. Then I can clamp the work to the table so it doesn't move. With my normal clamps here. And there we go, it's ready to weld. I can come through here and weld this. This isn't gonna move. It's not gonna bend on me. It's perfect, it's great for welding. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And if you wanna build one for yourself, it would make a great addition to any shop. So I hope you liked the video. Be sure and check out Fireball Tool for all your monster and mega squares. And also, please help support the Making Stuff channel by visiting our affiliate link on Amazon. I've got that link in the description. Every sale made through that affiliate link, the Making Stuff channel will get a small percentage. So that's a great way to help support the Making Stuff channel and it doesn't cost you a thing. So if you do like the video, Please like and share, give me that thumbs up, and thanks for watching.